I know I said I'd stop using ST as my main terminal, but I never said I'd stop making videos on it, and today that's one of those videos. So what we're going to be looking at is the ST ligatures patch, which came out, I think, about a week or so ago, maybe a bit more than that, but I didn't look at it back then because I had a few problems. Specifically that it didn't really work most of the time, it worked with half of the symbols, and it didn't even work really well then anyway. But now it's been pretty much pretty much improved to the point where it's actually usable now, and we're going to be looking at it today. So if you don't know what a ligature is, basically it's a it's a way to bring the mathematical symbols that you'd see, like you'd see for greater than or equal to, you'd see for not equal to, and things like that into a programming context. So when you do, uh, say for example, not equal to, so in a Java context that is the exclamation mark and then equals, it's the same in C and a bunch of other languages. So in a mathematical context though, that is an equal sign with a slash through it. So if you're used to the mathematical symbols, then it's going to be a bit weird going from that into a programming language. But I come from the other side where I started with doing the programming stuff and then I looked at the mathematical symbols. So for me, I'm not a big fan of the ligature support, but some people really do like ligatures and some people do find them way easier to read than the programming symbols. So let's just go over to my main screen and actually have a look at this. So one thing you do need to keep in mind is that you're actually going to need a font that does support ligatures. So you cannot just use any random font out there, but that doesn't mean you're limited to a very small selection of fonts. So pretty much all of the nerd fonts, I think probably all of the nerd fonts support ligatures and any programming font that's worth its salt will support it. So things like the JetBrains mono fonts, the any of the Microsoft programming fonts, any of really just any programming font that is worth its salt is going to have ligature support and also any of the nerd fonts. Obviously there'll also be other fonts out there that do have support for it, but I'm not gonna go through a comprehensive list of every single font that has ligature support. If you wanna find that out, then you can probably find it out pretty quickly. Most fonts that do support it, do have it advertised on their like main page. So this is the GitHub page for ST ligatures, but we don't actually need to use the GitHub page because it's on the Suckless website. So that is actually really cool. I'm pretty sure this can just be modified by anyone really. I don't actually know the process to go through modifying it, but I've heard that it's got public modification access, which I would say is really dangerous, but they are happy to do it. So it's their website. Anyway, they can do what they want with it. So if you want to actually download the ligature patch, you have to keep in mind that there are a couple of different versions for it. And this is actually not a bad thing. So a lot of patches are designed to only work with the base install of ST, but I'm guessing whoever made this patch doesn't really like that setup. So it's on the GitHub page as well. What this person ended up doing was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make multiple versions of the patch. So we've got the main patch, then we've got the patch that will work if you have scroll back, the patch that'll work if you have alpha, patch that'll work if you have alpha and scroll back, and also box draw. Now, obviously, the developer of this patch isn't gonna go through every single combination of patches. So if you do wanna use anything else besides these ones, then you're gonna have to actually, uh, you know, set it up yourself. You're probably gonna have to do manual installation anyway if you've got any other patches. Even if you've got one of these ones, it may be set up slightly differently. You might have a slightly older version of the patch or you might have added some of your own code in there. And then in those cases, even those modified versions won't exactly work. But it's really easy to manually merge a patch. All I do with it is I go through the diff on one side of my screen, I have the code on the other side. And then I basically just copy stuff in where it looks like it should be going. That's how I typically deal with manually merging. I know you can merge the files together and then it shows the older version and the newer version. I find that confusing sometimes, so I like to just do it in the absolute manual way. So I know some people aren't a big fan of that, but anyway. Let's go actually have a look at my version of ST. So you don't actually have to do anything from the application side here. All you have to do is just install the patch and then it should work in every single one of your programs. I'm using JetBrains Mono Medium as my font. That does have ligature support in it. I've also got, I think, Hack Nerd font as my backup font. This example in here uses Fira Code. This also will support it. This is a pretty good programming font, a pretty popular one at that. So if you want to use something like this, then you can use that or as I was saying before, any of the nerd fonts or basically any programming font. Let's bring up NVIM and actually see what this looks like. Basically, if we do something like, I don't know, equals equals, as we can see, it's not as clear with this one, but it's been merged together here. 
or we can do something like equals equals equals. This one's a bit more clear, it actually adds in a third line. I believe the only language I can think of that does this is PHP? Maybe there's some other ones that do it as well, but PHP is the one that comes off the top of my head. JavaScript might also have a construct like this, but you also have ones like view less than and greater than. I'm not sure what languages use this symbol, but this is here as well. This is the one that I was mentioning earlier that throws me off a little bit. So if we do exclamation mark and equals, this becomes the proper mathematical notation for not equals. I'm really used to seeing it like this though. So let's just bring up Alacrity. So exclamation mark equals. This is how I'm used to seeing not equals. Seeing it like this, it throws me off a little bit. Obviously I could get used to it, but I've been doing programming long enough seeing this symbol that seeing it in a different way, I guess, just, it, it feels weird to me. But we have other ones that may be useful as well that also really do throw me off as well. So we do greater than and equals to. This actually gives us the proper symbol for greater than or equal to. Same with less than or equal to as well. This is another one that would really throw me off. So I'm used to seeing it like this, where you actually have kind of like an arrow sort of thing. This looks really, really weird to me. Obviously, I use them whenever I do anything mathematical, but... When I see that within programming, I, I kind of have to stop for a second, like, wait, what does that actually mean again? Oh, right, it means that. Or you have other ones, actually, this one isn't as weird. This is kind of as subtle as the equals equals. So you have things like uh, an arrow here, you have an arrow in the other direction as well. If you do equals to and then greater than, you get an arrow like that. Or I don't think there's one in the other direction. Uh, no, the other direction is just the less than equal to symbol. So I'm not going to go through every single ligature symbol that's here, but as you can see, it works fairly well. You might have noticed there is a little bit of a delay. So if we just type something in, like let's go less than or equal to, there's a bit of a delay where it's like, I, d I don't know what I'm doing right now. So it has to wait for ST to actually try to re-render. And I'm going to guess ST probably has its re-render rate pretty low. I don't know if there's a way to change that or if this is kind of just a limitation of doing ligatures within ST. But yeah, it it's a little bit noticeable when it does swap over. I know when you do it with VS Code and some other terminals, it's a bit less noticeable. So if you can accept the fact that it looks a little bit janky when it's swapping over, then I guess this is a, probably a pretty good patch. So if we do a symbol that's not gonna work, so if we do equals, uh, sorry, we do that space there, so it's a bit of a break, equals, equals, three equals is going to be the three lines. If you then put a fourth one, it will then break up the ligature. So it, it does work the way it's supposed to work. It doesn't try to create like, I don't know, a connected one here and then a connected one here, or three connected and then one off the, the side here. It seems like whatever library it's using, is working pretty well, so that is good to see as well, because if if the ligatures behaved weirdly, it would kind of break the usefulness of this patch. But it is good to see that they are behaving as you would expect them to. If you want a full list of supported ligatures, this right here seems to be pretty much everything that you can do as a ligature, so feel free to have a look through this. If you know what any of these symbols are, then you probably will care about them in whatever context you're using them. I don't know what half of these symbols even mean, like this one that is a, I think it's less than the tilde or something, less than tilde. Yeah, I have, I don't know what language this is being used in, so I have no idea what the purpose of this one even is. But there's surely some sort of reason why half of these symbols exist, I just haven't run across uses for most of them, I guess. Now, I did mention that you actually need a font that does support ligatures, so let's just look at how to actually fix that in case you don't. Let's go into LF, go into where I'm storing my repo for ST. So I've just got that in a folder called ST. And if we go into my config.h, basically what you're going to want to do in here, I've got the font 2 patch installed, which I've talked about before. The font 2 patch is actually really useful. And especially in this case, if the main font you're using isn't a programming font. So some people like to use, I think there's a monospace noto font, or you can use one of the like Ubuntu fonts and things like that. I don't think those have ligature support in them. If they do, then sorry, I'm mistaken, but I don't think they do. In those cases, it is actually really useful to use the font 2 patch because then you can have one of those fonts as your main font and then have some sort of backup font here to have anything else that you need to catch. Like, for example, I could change this main font here to anything else 
and I would still have ligatures because I have the hack nerd font here. So that's part of the reason why I always have one of the nerd fonts as my backup font. So if I ever need any of the nerd symbols, or in this case, if I ever need ligatures, then they'll always work regardless of what my main font is. So as I was saying before though, if you wanna just change your main font and you don't have this section here, all you have to do is change the static char pointer font and change that to whatever font you wanna use. So that could be JetBrains Mono Medium, that could be Source Code Pro, that could be really anything you wanted to use. I would recommend sticking with a monospaced font, especially if you wanna do programming on your terminal, especially if you do programming in a language that cares about spaces, like for example, Python. Don't ever write Python without a monospaced font. You will tear your hair out in the first couple of seconds. If you don't know, Python does its blocks based on indentation, which is great and all, and completely falls apart if you don't use a monospace font. So I would recommend if you ever do programming on your terminal or just programming in any context whatsoever, use a monospace font, it'll save you so much hassle. Anyway, I kind of got off track there. All you're gonna have to do is come out of here, sudo make uninstall so we can get rid of my current install of ST. Obviously put in the password you need to put in to run a sudo command and go sudo make. I don't think you actually have to do the uh, clean. That's kind of just a habit that I've gotten into. And run that and give it a couple seconds to compile and now you're done. Reopen ST, that is the wrong key binding. Reopen ST and then you will have your support for whatever ligature font you're using. So I would say ligatures, they're not my cup of tea, but it is really nice to see that ST actually does have ligature support now because that's one of the common things I got from people when I was doing a lot of ST videos. They're like, hey, ST's cool. Does it have ligature support? And I was like, no, it doesn't. Maybe it will at some point. And now we're at that point. So if the one reason you weren't using ST was the fact that it was missing ligatures, now you can use it. As I've been saying in previous videos though, I'm not using ST anymore, I'm using Alacrity, and I believe Alacrity actually does have ligature support built into it. So in that case, maybe you should just use Alacrity, but I know that Alacrity has issues, especially on older devices, specifically on older ThinkPads that don't support, I think OpenGL, OpenCL, whatever. There's, there's a bunch of older devices that don't support one of those, I don't, whatever one it is. If you don't have a GPU that supports the rendering library used by Alacrity, then it's gonna be way slower than ST and it's gonna be way slower than pretty much every other terminal. So in that case, maybe it is useful to have ligature support within ST, but that's really gonna be up to what you run and really what you wanna do in your system. So I think I'm gonna end it there. But before I go, I wanna thank my patrons. So I wanna thank Nathan, Andrew Broad, LQ, Larry, Ray, and Zilva because they help make this channel possible. So without their support, I wouldn't be able to do this as well today. Down below, I've got a link to my Patreon, so if you want to support me or you want to just have your name read out at the end of the video, then go check that out down below. If you want to monetarily support the channel, but you don't want to do it through Patreon, there's also some Amazon affiliate links as well as some other stuff down there. So if you want to buy the gear I use in this video, check all that stuff out down below. I've got my alternate video platforms like my BitTube and my library and my social links, so my Discord and my Telegram. Also remember to smash the like button and leave me a comment, and remember to subscribe and ding the bell icon down below as well. So I think that's pretty much everything for me, and... I'm out.